you guys welcome to my channel it's Ron x -Blade. and in today's video i will show you how you can import your minecraft world into prisma 3d or in any 3d animation or 3d modeling app so the only way to export minecraft world as 3d model is mineways but mineways works only on pc it means it works only on windows but you can run windows on android so let's but first you have to download some files so let's see the files open google and search winletter then search it and click on the first website which is github then scroll down a bit and you will see github release click on that Then again scroll down and you will see two files which one is winletter apk and another one is source code you have to download them both. Now click back and search mineways. Click on the first website then, then click on the first blue line to download mineways. Click on the first blue line and it will start downloading. So I already have downloaded mineways so I will not download it again. So let's see the next file. So the next file you have to download is minecraft world export mod. So search it and click on the first website then scroll down a bit and here you will see the download option download it you will need this file to export your minecraft world to your files now open z archiver or z archiver i don't know what you call this app so click on mineways and click on extract now extract the file in downloads folder don't extract in it in any other folder because in winletter you have to access the download folder so now search the mode that you have downloaded like here it is and click on the mode then click on the arrow then you will see minecraft option so select minecraft and click on always so now it will start open minecraft and your mode will be imported in minecraft so the mod importing started and here successfully imported the mod. Now create a world and then you have to activate the mod from here like the resource packs and here click on owned then click on the mod and side beside the mod you will see the active button so click on that and then create your world. So here I am in minecraft world so let's find a good place to do something. You have to explore the map and interact with the map because you have to load or if you don't do anything in map so the map will not loaded and if the map not loaded then you can't export the map from mineways. I will see you later so here let's make a house. So the house is done now you have to save and quit and after saving your world you will have to go to edit world and there you have to scroll down and you will see the export world option it's because of the mod now you have to export and save it in your files now we have to convert our minecraft bedrock world to java world because mineways only supports java worlds so search chunker and click on the chunker website now click on here upload archive 
and select your world and now click on start converting it will take some time so i'll just skip the part okay so it's done now scroll down and find java 1.20 so here it is and click on that then again scroll down and click on here convert and download it will take some time and now click on download so it started downloading and here you have to you can change the name so that you can find find it later just change the name and write a simple name and add the java at last so that you can understand that it's the java map so here and now let's install the one letter app so here it's installing it will take some time and now open the app and allow the permission and it will automatically start loading everything in other apps you have to copy the obb file and then paste it in android data obb but in current like in my phone and other android 12 or 13 phones you can't access the android data or obb so how can you paste that so that's why i am using will letter here and it's almost done so let's skip skip the part and now it's done now click on the plus icon to add a container and then you can rename it and for mineways you don't have to change any settings just click on the blue tick and it will start creating the container and the container is ready to start it click on three dots and click on run and it will start the window then here you can see all the files you can move the mouse with your finger and if you touch the screen one time with your finger it will works as a left click so here you have to go to the d file which is download file click on double click on it like take the mouse on the d and then double click and then open mineways by double clicking on mineways then you have to search the exe file here it is double click on that and then it will start mineways here go to ok and again click and from here you can do it full screen click on that the cube now it's full screen go to file and here open then you can select the file here go to d and then the file that we have like changed the java file so here it is click on the level that file and it will take some time here you can see it's loading so let's skip the part so the map is loaded and as you can see as i didn't explore the map properly so that's why the map is not fully loaded here and you can move the map by double like two fingers on the screen like let me show you here is one finger and if i touch on the screen with my two fingers i can move the screen like this and to zoom you have to put two fingers very close and then drag the two finger in down let me show you to zoom do that and here is the house as you can see here that i made so here it is and how to select the particular part let me show you to do that you have to click on back once and here you will see the output control click on that and select rts then ok click on ok and here you will have some options and if you see in your down right here you will see the 
एम आर बी ऑप्शन दिस इज द राइट क्लिक ऑफ माउस यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन विथ वन फिंगर एंड अनदर फिंगर इफ यू ड्रग ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सिलेक्ट अ पार्टिकुलर पार्ट फ्रॉम द मैप देन क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड यू विल यू कैन सी लाइक टू मेजरमेंट लाइन्स वन इज फॉर हाइट एंड अनदर वन इज फॉर डेथ हाइट लाइक इफ यू आर एक्सपोर्टिंग ए माउंटेन यू कैन सिलेक्ट हाउ हाई योर माउंटेन विल बी जस्ट यू कैन जस्ट कट द माउंटेन फ्रॉम टॉप एंड फॉर डेप्थ लाइक हाउ मच डीप यू वॉन्ट योर वर्ल्ड टू बी लाइक हेयर इज अ टिप फॉर यू इफ यू आर एक्सपोर्टिंग अ जंगल मैप और एनी ग्राउंड मैप देन वाई शुड यू लाइक एक्सपोर्ट द अंडर ग्राउंड सीन इट विल जस्ट सिंपली मेक योर मैप वे टू बिगर एंड दैट विल कॉज यू मेनी इशूज लाइक लैगिंग इन प्रिज्मा थ्री डी एंड एज यू कैन सी हेयर आई एम डिक्रीजिंग द हाइट एंड इट्स जस्ट कटिंग द अपर ग्राउंड एंड वेन आई एम इंक्रीजिंग द हाइट इट्स अगेन सिलेक्टिंग द एवरीथिंग एंड हेयर यू कैन सी बाई द पिंक लाइक पिंक स्पॉट्स एंड लेट्स डिसेबल इट सो नाउ हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट इट टू एक्सपोर्ट इट गो टू फाइल्स लाइक गो टू इन फाइल्स एंड देन हेयर डाउन हेयर थ्री डी रेंडरिंग क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड देन सिलेक्ट ए फाइल वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक पेस्ट योर मॉडल सो सिलेक्ट दैट एंड देन we have to type a name here so click back and then select keyboard and now you can type a name so type a name and again click back to remove the keyboard then click on okay and now here you can see the coordinates of your selected area and down here you have to click on this settings which is contains everything in zip file and then again select that to export textures in a mosaic big form big form which means it will give you a texture which is very big and have everything inside it so you can see it later and then you don't have to change anything click on okay and it will take some time and then your map will be ready so let's skip that part so here the map is ready and click on ok and now you can back from the app and now the model is saved on your files so the model has saved in your files now you can share it in or import it in any 3d software or app as you can see i have imported it in prisma 3d so as it's a obj file you can import it in any 3d software or app so i hope this video helps you and if you like the video you know what to do comment your opinion about this video and we will meet again in next video bye